All right, now let's set to start the uh, behavioral analysis. So we will, the, one of the methods you can do is a diffing technique. So basically you have one snapshot before getting uh, one machine being infected and you run the malware and then have another snapshot, right? Then snapshot and here mean, uh, I'm uh, uh, talking about very high level, it can be uh, just uh, getting a state of registry key or file system or you know the network uh, activities. So you have one snapshot and then after that and then compare what has been changed. So a uh, proof for that one is actually you can distinguish what has been changed but then the uh, shortcoming of that is you are missing states between you know before and then after. There can be something happened here and if we restore it then you don't see those activities at all. right? So that's one diffing. Uh, that's a diffing technique. And system monitoring is we use a procmon, right? Means while some event is happening, you will, we are logging everything and then look through the what events has been logged, right? That's the system monitoring. And good thing is you can collect basically everything, but the uh, shortcoming of that of this approach will be you have too much of data. Now you need to decide which one is important and which one is not, right? For that, we okay, use Procmon and then Wireshark, both is uh, doing the system monitoring. Okay, then API tracing. So, API tracing is if a, so a piece of uh, code runs, then it calls a bunch of uh, either library calls or its own functions inside its own executable. Then, uh, API tracing, we're gonna basically uh, similar to the monitoring, you it log every system call, not, not just system call, any every function calls, and you record it and then see what's going on for in very detail. When there's a some API call, there's a parameters, then you will see the what parameter value was, and not only that, you will see the what was the return value. So it is much more detailed information than the system monitoring. So we will uh, use. Uh, use this uh, techniques as well during uh, this class. And it is good, you will see the very detailed information, but uh, cons is then how are we going to interpret the data? That's another challenge. And you will end up seeing a lot of API calls. And for that, we are going to use Win API override. There's another one API monitoring tool and Ruitap API monitor. So we will use like both tools and debugging. So, do you know we're gonna do the debugging this class? You expecting debugging? Okay, we are not going to do it because it requires some other you know, knowledge. Like you need to, you will need to familiar with some assembly language, and uh, actually that's one of the main reasons. So since I didn't put as a you know, assembly language as a requirement, so I, I'm not going to do the debugging. But debugging is one of the way you can actually see the malware behavior very well. So you can make some, if code is running, then you can make some breakpoint and actually you can see uh, no, what, what's going on in very detail. And in the uh, reverse engineering malware class, it, they, they deal with the debugging. Not only the static analysis, by just looking at the assembly, they also use their debugging. Especially they, to uh, show the um, uh, unpacking manually, they use a debugger to do that. And tools, who, who have used WinDebug? It's more like an immunity debug or only debug. Okay, that's one of the debugger tools that are out there. You can use it for free. And IDA Pro is like a more, actually these days it comes with a debugger, but IDA Pro is usually used for like a disassembly. If you have a binary that, and put it into IDA Pro, then it disassembles for you. And you can see the very a graphic way to see, you know, there's a code blocks. But has a as a graph has very good graphic GUI graphic GUI okay this is not has very uh, yeah, graphical GUI yeah this is always good to see All right so again I actually explain from the easy techniques to the difficult one right the thing is easy uh, system monitoring requires much more work API also requires much more knowledge but debugging is the uh, basically the most hard hard to do. And we will do till up here, do the AP tracing, API tracing, this class. <laughs>